and welcome to eLearning Today TV. I'm Lauren. And I'm Lena. And before we get started, we just want to remind you again to head over to iTunes and give us five stars ratings. I think yeah. we deserve it. <laughs> okay, um, I want to start off, I uh, usually have a video, but I'm going to kind of show a website on the computer. It's called Storytime for, Story for Me, and it's basically like an interactive storybook. Um, there's different series that you can choose from. You can choose from different characters, and um, there's all different tales there. And I wanted to show, I'll show this, the site really quick, and then we can just show part of it. But basically, you can pick from, there's different characters, so you can pick a character, and then you can pick all the, there's all different stories here, so you can see. And then when you play it, which is not gonna work here, but I wanna show it on the computer. You can kind of follow along there. Ben's new friend. And it flips along. You could stop it, it you can pause it. Um, it highlights words that you could click on in here again. And he I think it's a really, really great site. It's nice it graphics, it's really interactive. Um, the and the narrators are all really nervous. clear and kind of, you can understand them all. So I found that I thought it was a really great site. You can use it at home, in the classroom, um, and it's a great way to just practice reading, practice reading along there. So yeah, pretty cool. For unfortunately, it doesn't work on the iPad. It does or not. Yeah. <laughs> so that's kind of sad. Yeah. But if you have a different kind of tablet, then it would work. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So to the, um, this week, I found this really cool article about the pros and cons of online learning. Um, there's a a ton of studies out there um, analyzing the results of um, students working on online classes and so forth. Um, and some of the things that they that most of um, people agree on is that um, they are cost effective, and it's a really great way to uh, as opposed to traditional um, instruction. So if you want a different alternative to traditional instruction, it's really great and cost effective. Um, it provides students for more flexibility um, and access to things that they may not normally get in the classroom. Um, and it allows schools to offer makeup classes and uh, additional electives that, again, they may not be able to right. offer with the regular staff and so forth. But the concern is that in because they are spending so much time in there, then maybe the quality of that um, time is not... Um, really uh, a, a great way to spend their time in, as opposed to a traditional learning. So there's tons of different studies and different opinions and um, I would actually like to hear what our viewers think about that and so I'll post the article and you can comment on, on our notes um, what your own take of the pros and cons that they uh, view here is and um, it'll be really interesting to see what our viewers think yep. of, of that. Okay, um, and I found some iPad uh, apps this week. They're educational, but they're more fun. Um, so it's kind of like fun games that um, you can use with your students or your kids. Um, the first one's called Monster Mix and Match, and it's basically, um, there's over 27,000 different combinations you can do, and it's oh, mixing wow. different pictures and bodies and all that. Um, and you kind of use, well, <laughs> that sounded weird. Um, it's kind of using problem, the app says it's, you know, it's using problem solving skills and critical thinking skills in that so way. So can you kind of build like a zombie yeah, that... Yeah, you can do whatever you want, okay. pretty much. And there's like millions and millions, well, thousands and <laughs> thousands of ways you can do that. Um, highlights, Hidden Pictures has an app, so it's like the magazine highlights. Um, I remember looking at them when I was a kid, but basically it's the same thing. Um, you're searching for the hidden pictures, so you're searching for all these different things there. Um, and then there's clues and other fun interactive stuff on that app too. And then there's an I Spy app, which is like the I Spy books that I also remember. Right. Um, and it's basically like a spooky mansion, so that's what the app's called. Um, and you have to go around and look for these different clues and you get keys and they unlock and you get all different sorts of fun stuff there. And then the last one which I downloaded is called 10,500 Plus Cool Facts. And wow. That's basically what it is. Um, you can, you get a fax every time you open it, and you can flip it, and you get other ones, or you can shake it, and you get apps. So, I mean, you get fax. 
on average, adults watch double the amount of teen TV as teenagers do. I think that's interesting. So you could literally sit there and flap and flap and flip it and learn all these different facts. And they're all random. Like this one has to do with history. This one has to do with science. So that's pretty it's cool. a really cool app and it's fun and it's easy and it's free. Yeah. I like to study that. I like knowing random. Yeah. Facts. Then you should get yeah, this one. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And another co cool uh, article I found this week, um, it's a, a school in Philadelphia is over offering parent university. Mm -hmm. And pretty much what it is is that they're offering classes to, to parents um, of, the stu of the students that go to the school and the district um, in order to kind of help them so that they can help their kids. Because um, one of the things that they were saying is that the, the things that they learn um, maybe you know 30 or even 40 years ago is completely different than the things that kids are learning now right. and for example especially with math um, you kind of stop remembering things after a while um, so you're not gonna be able to help your kids with homework and that kind of thing so the district decided to offer this um, classes and they're free and uh, is it's the the program is a big success and they were um, recently feature in CNN so we'll put that little video in in our notes or whatever but the idea is to empower the, the parents through education and strengthen the the sort of the support for for the students and education and, and, and so forth so um, sounds really exciting for the parents and what they're hoping to do is that it will that idea can, will kind of spread to other uh, states and districts around the country which I think is really great um, to kind of show the, the parents that it's not too late to continue learning yeah. and so forth. And and they pay, and the kids like it too, that their parents are going to the school and, and learning the things that they may be learning at the same time and or different um, different things like computers. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of them are just, for example, typing all day in email or Word and that's all they know. Um, but if you're... Uh, child has a project that you have to Google things for or right. make a PowerPoint presentation or a certain diagram. Parents may not know how to do that. So it's another way to sort of build up on the skills that they may already kind of know but not really mm -hmm. sure how to use it. So pretty right. cool stuff. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Well, that's our show this week. So we'll see you next time. <laughs>